The Philip J. Rock Center and School has been in existence since 1975 to serve children who are deaf, blind, so they have both sensory impairments. We're located in Glen Ellen, Illinois, and it is a residential school that serves children across the day, across the week, and across the school year. We have educational programs here and also daily living programs here that are specifically geared for deaf, blind students. Back in the 70s, there was a rubella epidemic that resulted in just really a cluster of children that were born with a combination of hearing and vision disabilities. There were several parents who had young children who were deafblind. They brought the concern to Senator Phil Rock. He sponsored the legislation and eventually got it passed. The school opened its doors in October of 1978. dedicated staff help those children to complete their activities of daily living, including getting breakfast, getting on a bus, and safely arriving at Keneyville School District and beginning their school day. Philip Rock teachers are the instructors for the day, and the purpose of the schooling for our students being offered outside of the facility is so that they can get what we call integration in terms of inclusion with the traditional school program. We have students who go out at lunchtime. We try really hard to incorporate that. Music is another place, art. So we usually send our own staff to facilitate communication. A lot of my schedules are not just pictures, they're tactile. When the apples on the tree surrounding its home were as red as autumn leaves. We use a lot of tactile symbols. When I do a book, I use tactile objects for the main ideas so that they know. So for Apple, I can't just do a picture of an Apple, I bring a real Apple. We're gonna do more, okay? And then they return here, back to the facility, and begin what I think is a unique part of our program, which is an extended day program. Extended school day staff serves those children up till about eight o'clock, at which point kids begin to transition to bedtime. Daddy? Yes! We felt that Philip Rock was the best place for her. There's other students here that have similar abilities and they're used to working with children that have multiple disabilities. She needs constant attention and that's what Philip Rock is doing. Philip Rock is giving her that care that she needs that we just can't provide for her. And for them to finally understand something um, that they, because they've learned it a different way here, is always very rewarding. The staff genuinely care about these kids. They're committed to seeing them to grow. They're committed to seeing them become as independent as possible. They are with them 24 hours a day. They all work on different shifts, but they communicate with each other so that everybody kind of knows what's going on with the kids. They're very close to the parents as well. You have to be very passionate about what you do, especially working in here because you're dealing with other families, babies, their kids. I look at us not just the facility, but we're like an extended family. We all try our best and do our best to work with our students and give them as much of a caring, loving environment. And in our mission and vision at Philip Rock, it's independence for all. And that's for all students as well as all families. When the students achieve, we achieve, and the success is a happy celebration for all. Most of the children make a transition that's so much smoother than the parents could ever imagine. That their children really are happy, that their children have the love and nurturing, but they also have the structure and the communication and the opportunities that they just wouldn't have in other school programs. I don't think there's too many places that are as involved with helping the kids get go to the next step in terms of uh, visits and training and support from the service center and the school. All the staff are involved in that. It was probably the ideal transition, exactly what people would hope for for their child. Some may end up being able to work. Others may end up not being as capable. And so looking at that whole spectrum of kids, the goal for every one of those kids is to be the most independent they possibly can. Be.